Hello and welcome to our channel Coded Wealth, your go-to channel for learning about finance and amazing AI tools, and how to use them in everyday life. If you've ever been curious about artificial intelligence, but felt it was too complex to understand, you're in the right place. Today, we're diving into one of the most popular AI tools out there, ChatGPT. Whether you're a student, a professional, or someone just looking to simplify your daily tasks, this tool can be a game changer. And don't worry, we'll break everything down in simple, easy to understand terms so you can follow along. So what exactly is ChatGPT and why is everyone talking about it? Let's break it down step by step. ChatGPT is a computer program designed to have conversations with you. But unlike other chatbots you may have interacted with in the past, ChatGPT feels much more natural and human-like. It can answer questions, help you solve problems, and even assist with creative tasks like writing stories or brainstorming ideas. The magic behind ChatGPT lies in something called a Large Language Model, or LLM. Think of it as a super-intelligent text engine that has read an enormous amount of information and learned how to predict the next word in a sentence. For example, if I say, once upon a time, you'd expect the next words to involve a story. ChatGPT works the same way, but at a much larger scale and with more precision. What sets ChatGPT apart from other AI tools or assistants like Siri or Alexa? Let's look at a few key features. One human-like responses. ChatGPT doesn't just spit out facts. It tries to understand your question and respond in a conversational way, making it feel like you're talking to a knowledgeable friend or coworker. Two, versatility. Whether you need help drafting an email, summarizing an article, solving a math problem, or even creating a joke, ChatGPT can do it all. It's not limited to one kind of task. Three, context, awareness. ChatGPT remembers what you've said earlier in the conversation, up to a certain limit. For example, if you ask, what's the best laptop for students? And then follow up with, does it have good battery life? It understands you're still talking about laptops. Four, adaptability. It works for almost anyone. Students, professionals, content creators, or even someone curious to learn new things. Whether you're asking for coding help, writing assistance, or fun facts, ChatGPT adapts to your needs. What does the GPT in ChatGPT stand for? The GPT in ChatGPT stands for Generative Pre-Trained Transformer. Here's what that means in simple terms. 1. Generative, which means it can generate text rather than just selecting from pre-written responses. This makes it dynamic and creative. 2. Pre-Trained means ChatGPT has already learned a lot by analyzing massive amounts of text from books, websites, and other sources. It's like a student who has studied hard before taking an exam. 3. Transformer means the underlying architecture of ChatGPT, which allows it to process text in a way that captures relationships between words. Imagine reading a sentence where you not only understand individual words, but also the connections between them. That's what the Transformer model does. How does ChatGPT differ from older AI chatbots? Let's quickly compare ChatGPT to traditional chatbots. Older chatbots are often limited to predefined responses. If you ask them something unexpected, they'd either give you a generic reply or not understand at all. ChatGPT, on the other hand, generates responses in real time based on what you type. Even if you ask a question in an unusual way, it tries to interpret it and provide a relevant answer. For example, if you type, I need to prepare for a job interview in finance, can you help? ChatGPT doesn't just look for keywords like job or interview. It understands the full context and provides tailored advice such as sample questions or tips specific to the finance industry. Now that we've introduced ChatGPT, let's take a deeper dive into how it actually works behind the scenes. We'll explain this step by step in simple terms, so even if you're not a tech expert, you'll understand the magic that powers ChatGPT. 1. The Foundation Large Language Models At the heart of ChatGPT is something called a Large Language Model, or LLM. These models are trained on massive amounts of text data. Think of everything from books and articles to websites. This training allows the AI to learn patterns in language. For example, it understands grammar, sentence structure, and even the relationships between words. It's like teaching a child by showing them millions of examples so they can predict what comes next in a sentence. For instance, if you say, the sun is shining and the sky is, 
ChatGPT knows the next word is likely blue. This might seem simple, but imagine doing this for millions of possible sentences in real time. That's the scale at which ChatGPT operates. Two training ChatGPT, pre-training and fine-tuning. To become this smart, ChatGPT goes through two key stages of training, A pre-training. This is where the model is fed an enormous amount of text from various sources. During this phase, the model learns language basics, how words fit together, how ideas flow in a sentence, and common patterns and associations. For example, it learns that the cat is on the is usually followed by mat, and not something random like banana. B. Fine-tuning. After pre-training, the model is fine-tuned with specific guidelines to make its responses more helpful and user-friendly. It's like giving a student specialized coaching after they've learned the basics. This stage also involves human reviewers who provide feedback to ensure the AI avoids harmful or biased responses. 3. Inference. What happens when you ask a question? Here's the cool part. What happens when you type a question into ChatGPT? 1. Tokenization. Your input is broken down into tiny pieces called tokens. These are like building blocks of text. For example, I love programming becomes tokens like I, love, and programming. 2. Prediction. ChatGPT uses its training to analyze these tokens and predict the most likely next word or phrase. For every word it generates, it's like asking, what's the most logical next word in this context? For example, if you type, why is the sky blue? ChatGPT predicts and builds an answer based on its understanding of atmospheric science, language flow, and how similar questions have been answered before. 1. Response generation. The AI doesn't just give you random facts. It combines everything it knows to form a coherent and relevant response. This happens in milliseconds, making the interaction feel natural and instant. 4. How does ChatGPT maintain context? One of the fascinating things about ChatGPT is its ability to maintain context within a conversation. Short-term memory. In a single conversation, ChatGPT remembers what you've said earlier. For example, you say, what's the capital of France? ChatGPT replies, Paris. You say, what are some popular tourist spots there? Even though you didn't mention Paris's in the second question, ChatGPT knows you're referring to it because it retains the context of your previous messages. Limitations of context. However, there's a limit to how much it can remember in a single session. If the conversation gets too long, earlier parts might get forgotten. This is because the model has a maximum token limit, the total number of words it can process at once. 5. Why ChatGPT can feel so human. ChatGPT feels human-like because of how it processes language. 1. Probabilities and patterns. Instead of having pre-written answers, ChatGPT predicts the most likely word or phrase based on patterns it has seen during training. 2. Subtle adjustments. The AI doesn't just stop at giving you the right answer. It adjusts its tone and style based on the way you ask questions. For example, if you ask casually, hey, what's up with quantum physics? It might respond informally. If you ask formally, can you explain quantum physics in detail? It adapts to a more professional tone. 6. A simplified analogy. Let me give you an analogy to simplify all of this. Imagine ChatGPT is like a super advanced version of autocomplete on your phone. When you start typing a sentence, your phone guesses the next word based on what you've typed before. ChatGPT does the same thing, but on a much larger and smarter scale. Instead of just predicting one word, it looks at the entire context of your question and generates a thoughtful, multi-sentence response. It's like having autocomplete, but for whole conversations. 7. Behind-the-scenes transformer architecture. Now let's briefly touch on the transformer part of ChatGPT, which makes it so powerful. Transformers are a type of neural network architecture. They work by one, paying attention to context. Transformers use something called attention mechanisms to figure out which parts of a sentence are most important. For example, in the sentence, the cat, which was sitting on the mat, jumped up. The transformer pays attention to both cat and jumped to understand the action. 1. Parallel Processing Unlike older models, transformers process information in parallel instead of one word at a time. This makes them much faster and better at understanding long and complex inputs. 8. How it all comes together So, to sum it all up, ChatGPT reads your input, breaks it into tokens, and analyzes them using its training. It predicts and generates a response word by word, 
based on probabilities and patterns. It keeps the conversation coherent by remembering context and adjusting its tone to match your style. The result? A tool that feels almost like talking to a human. Pretty amazing, right? One of the most powerful ways to get the best out of ChatGPT is through something called prompt engineering. It's all about how you phrase your questions or instructions to guide the AI in providing the most accurate and relevant responses. Think of it as learning to ask smarter questions to get better answers. Let's explore this in detail, including practical examples for daily life. What is prompt engineering? Prompt engineering is the art and science of crafting effective questions or instructions for ChatGPT. Why is this important? Because the quality of the AI's response depends heavily on the clarity and precision of your input. A well-structured prompt gives ChatGPT all the context it needs to deliver exactly what you're looking for. Think of ChatGPT as a chef. You're the one providing the recipe. If your instructions are vague, like make something with vegetables, you might not get the dish you want. But if you say, make a vegetable stir fry with carrots, broccoli, and a garlic soy sauce, the chef or ChatGPT has a clear idea of what to do. How to write effective prompts. Here are some tips for creating effective prompts. One, be specific. Include all the details ChatGPT needs to understand your request. Instead of write an essay, try write a 300 word essay about the importance of renewable energy for school students. Two, set a clear objective. Tell ChatGPT exactly what you want it to do instead of explain how to bake a cake. Try explain how to bake a chocolate cake for beginners, step by step. Three, provide context. Give background information if it's relevant. Instead of, what's the best diet? Try what's the best diet for someone trying to lose weight with a sedentary lifestyle. Four, use constraints. If you need a specific format or limitation, include that in your prompt. For example, summarize this article in 100 words or less. Five, iterate and refine. Don't hesitate to rephrase or add more details to your prompts if the initial response isn't what you wanted. 6. Ask follow-up questions. Build on the conversation to refine the response further. Iterative prompting for refinement. Sometimes, you might not get the perfect answer on the first try. That's okay. You can refine your prompt by adding more details or asking follow-up questions. For example, first prompt, plan a vacation for me. Response. ChatGPT gives a generic plan, refined prompt, plan a five-day budget-friendly vacation in Italy for two people, focusing on Rome and Florence. The refined prompt gives ChatGPT a clearer idea of your needs, leading to a much more personalized response. Let's talk about how ChatGPT can make your life easier, whether you're working, studying, or just trying to stay organized. For work draft emails or reports, brainstorm ideas for presentations, generate summaries of long documents, for school, solve math problems step by step, explain complex topics in simple terms, help with writing essays or research papers, for personal life, get recipe ideas based on ingredients you have, plan vacations including itineraries, learn new skills or hobbies with guided explanations. ChatGPT, while incredibly useful, comes with ethical considerations and limitations that users must understand to use it responsibly. It can reflect biases from its training data, risk privacy breaches if sensitive information is shared, and sometimes provide incorrect or outdated information. Users should critically evaluate its outputs, cross-check important facts, and avoid over-dependence to preserve their critical thinking and creativity. The tool lacks real understanding, real-time knowledge, emotional intelligence, and long-term memory, making it essential to provide context in conversations. While safeguards are in place to prevent misuse, such as generating harmful or unethical content, responsible use by individuals is key. Combining AI with human oversight and adhering to ethical practices ensures that ChatGPT remains a beneficial tool for society. We've explored the incredible potential of ChatGPT and how it can make our lives easier, whether for work, learning, or creative endeavors. But with great power comes great responsibility. Understanding the ethical considerations and limitations of AI tools like ChatGPT is essential to ensure we use them wisely and responsibly. We would love to hear your thoughts. How do you envision using ChatGPT in your daily life? Is it for work productivity? Helping your kids with school assignments? 
or maybe even writing your first novel. If you are a programmer, then did you seek help from ChatGPT to check your code? Share your unique use cases in the comments below. It might inspire others to explore the tool in new ways. If you're new to AI or have lingering questions, don't hesitate to ask. This channel is here to make learning about AI accessible and fun. If there's a topic you'd like me to dive deeper into, be it prompt engineering, specific chat GPT use cases or AI in general, let me know in the comments or through a message. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel for more easy to understand content on AI tools and how they can benefit you. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future videos. We have exciting topics lined up, from exploring other AI tools to uncovering tips and tricks for maximizing your productivity with ChatGPT. AI is no longer the future, it's the present. By understanding how to use tools like ChatGPT effectively and ethically, we're taking a step toward becoming more informed and empowered in this rapidly evolving digital landscape. Together, let's make the most of what AI has to offer. Until next time, stay curious, keep learning, and embrace the possibilities that technology brings to our lives. See you in the next video.